Marty's uh, asking me about the switches. <clears throat> so uh, this is kind of how I do it. These are long switch points because this is a high speed switch, I guess you'd say. But anyway, you can kind of see how easily it's sprung in that direction. I can uh, switch it to the other direction. It operates pretty easily. And then I can leave it in the middle. And that way when I'm running uh, just by myself, each time I go through the switch, I'll come through it and it'll throw the opposite way and it'll stay in that position. <clears throat> I raised the rail up, the running rail up, just a, f a few thousandths with a piece of aluminum. That way it kind of protects the points. I found that if the, if the rail is at the same level as the point, it's been wrecking my points. So I raised the rail up just a few thousandths. And it does the wheel as it goes through the switch. You know, yeah, it catches there, but the weight of the 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 axle doesn't get on it until it's back here. Instead of the weight of the the train, you can actually see there's a difference there. Probably about a thumbnail or a fingernail difference between the height of the rail and my point. So it just catches the flange, and then the weight doesn't really get on it till it's back here. And it works the same way there. Just a little bit of a a difference and that way the the points will move thanks dog the points uh, move freely you can kind of see how that works all right maybe that answers some questions